Welcome to a quick tour of the Greylog platform. The Greylog platform provides the next SIM and enterprise log management, which are components of threat detection and incident response done right. Whether starting with central log management and working your way up to a SIM or needing threat detection and incident response, Greylog is here to help you on your journey. Illuminate is for Greylog enterprise log management and Greylog security. You'll have out-of-box parsers, dashboards, and for Greylog security, additional content for threat detection and incident response. These are a perpetual feature list for ongoing security and compliance research bundled in our technology packs called Illuminate. Capturing of data is accomplished through standard inputs and custom integrations for others. You will see in this list an excessive list of different types of ports used and features inside. Once the data is ingested, it is brought in and sorted into streams, adding context and the availability for valuable analytics and insight. Illuminate is activated in an easy user interface for the data sources you need in your environment. You'll see multiple packs are available for many different types of log sources. Once you have data coming into Greylog, this is where search, dashboards, and reports transform your data. Let's take a look. Directly from search, you can pick from the individual streams that you want to search the data in, or you can actually extend the timeout with a date range. You have the ability to enter in your search criteria in the search window or search bar, or if you want to open a particular log message. For this instance, what I'm going to do is actually do an aggregation of what's been running for application names and show top values. I can do the same thing by going to the field picker on the side and pick the individual field names and bring that into the data itself. I can actually take this chart and duplicate it, and you'll notice I have two columns for the individual hit counts and the percentages. So what I can do is modify this, and in the chart, I'm gonna go by percentage. So I'm gonna remove the individual count, and I'm gonna change the bar chart in this widget and update the widget. I can duplicate this again if I want, and what I can do is change this individual widget to a pie chart and you'll be able to see this data represented as both and it's just easy just to drag your data in here and see it now if you wanted to save this you could save this search name it save it for later so you can modify it what you can also do is save this as a particular dashboard or export the actual raw data as an instance i do have a syslog enabled Save search that I've created into a dashboard, and you'll see here with the data attached. This is searchable. So if you wanted to go to a field name like user underscore name, and in this case, I'm going to choose the user JDAR, you'll be able to see the instance in these logs when this particular user has executed or done some things, and you'll notice the logs, the authentication logs, and things going on inside the data. When you've created your dashboards, this strategically has given you the opportunity to go in and create reports. So if we go into reports, you'll notice here, if I look up my report that I built, I have a syslog dashboard that's based on that previous data. You can go into the actual report, add a logo, create the de description, the portrait landscape layout, and a variety of things. You also can go down to the bottom and you'll see your individual dashboards will appear here with all their individual widgets. If I expand this particular dashboard here, I've got these two widgets included in the report, and that's why they show up here. Once you view it, you can go in and edit the configuration of the actual report. You can actually send it automatically and send it on a schedule and a frequency. You can add that frequency by adding the name and email address and the user individual users inside of Greylog and send that off as needed. Greylog Security adds additional functionality to Greylog's enterprise log management. With a Greylog Security license, you will find Sigma rules for out-of-box content, which is an always-on search of known threats searching your data. Anomaly detection for looking at patterns over time and finding things outside the normal activity and alerting. Also, investigations management. When incidents or detections occur, an analyst workflow for capturing evidence of an incident. It will include asset enrichment, to add context over time into your data. Let's look at the Greylog security features. In Greylog security, you'll have the ability to switch to the security analyst type view. This will give you the ability to look at all the different things in Greylog security in one particular screen. 
As an example, Sigma Rules. This is where we have dedicated content built into Illuminate that's been curated with a partnership with SOC Prime. We've got anomaly detections. You'll see multiple anomaly counts for different types of grades of anomalies based on the source of products that are being brought into Greylog. And you'll see in the security events screen, events and alerts that are happening from Sigma rules and all the other things looking in logs. When you expand a particular event, you can replay the search to look at the logs or add it to an investigation and start an investigation. You'll see in this investigation, there's been a variety of individual descriptions of events, log IDs added, and you'll see context with assets that have been involved in this particular suspicious process. Assets are added into Guide Greylog for machines and for users. And this context is added to all logs when doing lookups for those particular IP addresses like IP address changes or host names or linked into user accounts. Greylog offers multiple options to make your data management, retention, and storage costs effective across your organization. Being able to manage where you store your fast searchable high value data or data that can be moved off into long-term storage. Let's take a look. Enterprise Archives is available for you to archive your individual streams, which are tied to indexes. You can create configurations so that all of your streams are independently archived based on your retention policies that you set in your archives. You can manage your backends, so creating backends for your different locations. You can create a local file system, or you can create an S3 backup to Amazon Web Services. You can also create index sets and inside index sets. You can take advantage of the integration with OpenSearch version 2.12. For data tiering, data tiering gives you the ability to create hot storage and warm storage by searching snapshots inside of OpenSearch, which requires some additional configuration. Outside of Greylog's internal configurations, you also can upgrade. And if you choose, Greylog Cloud as a fully hosted solution for Greylog Enterprise and Greylog Security. For a more in-depth look of Greylog, go to greylog.org and check out our resources or click that contact Greylog button. Thanks for watching.